In this video, I'm going to show you guys a bunch of things. How to make icons for your Mac. Uh, this is going to be Mac only instructions. Sorry Windows people, but I don't have a PC and I can't really show you how to install the icons on your system. Uh, so you're just going to need to figure that out. But the rest should work. And we're going to make icons that look kind of like this. First, go to fontcapture.com. And what it allows you to do is print out a template, fill it in with your own writing, scan it, and then upload it. And it'll create a font for you. So click create your font. going to download the template and fill it in using their instructions. And I'll skip there. And this is where we go into Photoshop. And we're going to scan an image with our font on it. So in this case, I've got a CanoScan 8800F plugged into my MacBook. So I'm just going to select Import Source, or you can go File and then Import. And it'll differ between scanners, so just read your scanner's instructions. Make sure your scanner's on, indicated by the blue light on my model. On the source, we're going to use Grayscale. Make sure it's like 200 DPI or higher. So I've got 300. And close your lid and click scan. And we're going to click retouch and save. And it looks like it did a pretty good job. So I'm just going to show you guys some details. So you're going to want to make sure your paper's lined up. Uh, with the edge of your scanner. Usually they're going to have an arrow showing you where that is. Sometimes not. Um, yeah, don't center it or anything. So here we go, that's the template from Font Capture. So now we can save this as a PNG file because Font Capture says it likes PNGs the most. That's fine, we can do that. We'll just call it my Save it as a PNG file. Click Save, click OK. Now go to Font Capture, just name your font uh, or something. And the font won't be public or anything, uh, just uh, FYI. Click Open, then click Submit. There we go, there's the font. Uh, so now you can download the font and follow their instructions of if you're on Windows, because uh, I don't have a PC, I can't show you. Sorry. So we'll just download that one. We can quit Photoshop just so that it uh, recognizes the font once we install it. I think this is the one. So double click it. We'll just be able to see here. 216 fonts. Yeah, and A is, is installed now, so that's good. We'll just exit out a font book, and if you're on Windows, follow font uh, captures instructions to install. Now we're going to make the icon itself. So we're going to click start from scratch. I'm going to make a size here. I'll do 512 by 512 pixels. We'll do a nice high resolution, just in case you need to print it later. Click OK. I'll just get, I don't know, background color here. Press Alt or Option and delete or backspace to fill it. We'll do kind of Adobe Creative Suite application icon looking thing. Filter, render, and then lighting effects. And remember, I've got a tutorial on the Adobe uh, CS4 icons. And I'll link to that in the sidebar just so you can go to it. So we'll uh, go to our font here. Select... There it is. We're going to use a dark gray color. Do two ways. Move that into the center. And we're going to go on layer styles and we'll just do a light inner shadow. And we'll save that as a PSD. And you actually need to do a couple things after. So we'll do my icon. And you can see uh, it, it's a uh, Got that as the uh, little image thumbnail up there. If it doesn't, then you need to make a change like with the, the paintbrush tool and then undo it and then just save again. 
uh, and then it should show up. Let's check that it's showing. Okay, it isn't. So, again, we need to go on a layer, make a change, undo it, and then save. If we go into Finder again, desktop, there we go. So now we can quit Photoshop because we're done there. Make a new folder, call it whatever. And to install uh, icons on a Mac, I'm sorry PC guys, I don't know. You're going to need to look at forums or something somewhere to figure out how to do it. Sorry I don't know, but I'm on a Mac, so yeah, suck it. So uh, we'll get info of both of these, just right, right click. And what you're going to do is click your icon, so it's got the little blue uh, outer shadow around it. And then go to edit and then copy or just command C. And then edit and paste or command V with your new folder with the blue uh, haze around it. And this doesn't work with applications, unfortunately. Well, when I tried it with an application, it didn't work. It might for you. So that's it, guys. That's how to give your folders some custom icons with your own font in them. Be sure to check out my video on CS4 icons, because it's got a lot more detail than this one does. And be sure to subscribe to my channel, because when you subscribe, every time I make a new video, which is at least once a week, by the way, it'll come up in your YouTube.com subscription box. And you just go to it from there and watch them in all their HD glory. And any more subscribers. Thanks for watching. Just uh, comment if you got any questions or that kind of thing. Windows guys, don't comment saying it doesn't work because I can't help you because I don't have a PC. So, thanks for watching guys and stay tuned for more videos.